Right then, whilst out running, who experiences those inner thoughts to stop? Yeah, I'd imagine a fair few of you out there, myself included, and I've been running for years. Now, unfortunately, there is no escaping the fact that running is pretty tiring business, but that's also what makes it so good for improving fitness, for improving health, and for some, a really good method for managing weight. It's also just great fun. So today, I'm gonna to be sharing six tips to help you run without getting tired. Okay, before you actually begin running, you want to think about a warm-up. Now, you probably had this drilled into you as a kid back at sports practice or in school, and I'm gonna be preaching it to you today as well too. I'm very sorry, but don't expect to head out of the door and start running at full tilt. Your body will not know what's hit it. Ideally, you want to allow yourself a few minutes prior to the run where you do a little bit of light mobility or a little bit of light dynamic stretching. And then when you do actually start running, just build into it really gradually, maybe over the first five minutes starting from a nice easy pace and building up. The same applies for the end of the run. Don't just go from full gas to nothing in a split second. You want to bring that pace down gradually, again, ideally over the final five minutes. And then when you are finished, body is nice and warm, muscles are warm, use that time to do some stretching. All right, my next tip is breathing. Obviously, you all know how to breathe. Oddly though, this does cause a few issues when it comes to running. Now you may have heard people talking about breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Fine for light exercise, such as yoga, not so good for running. Now, your muscles need oxygen to be able to keep functioning and to keep moving. Now you get more oxygen in through your mouth per breath than you do through your nose. That's not to say you should never use your nose, but as the pace picks up or the intensity picks up, I definitely recommend switching to breathing in through your mouth. Okay, but it's the rhythm of the breathing that really gets people. Now, at a comfortable running pace, I'd normally suggest something along the lines of a two by two or a three by three rhythm. So essentially, breathing in for two or three strides and then exhaling for two or three strides. And then as the pace picks up or the intensity picks up, switch to a two by one rhythm. So breathe in for two strides, exhale for one stride. Okay, it goes without saying you need to be healthy and in okay shape to be able to run. So the usual standards apply. Try to limit the amount of junk food. Make sure you stay hydrated, drinking plenty of water and staying on top of that fruit and veg that we're always told to do. Because at the end of the day, a well-balanced diet will go a long way in terms of keeping us healthy and also keeping our weight down or managed well, which in turn will make running easier. Now, that hydration point is really important because our body alone is actually made up of 60% water, the blood, 93% water and our muscles 73% water. So needless to say, hydration is pretty darn important. So prior to run, you want to make sure you've drunk plenty and then when you come back from run, you're replenishing that water as quickly as possible. Okay, one of the biggest complaints I hear with running is the pacing. In other words, gauging how hard you go over the certain distance that you're hoping to cover. Now let's be clear here, heading out of the door and trying to set a PB on every single run over a certain distance or a course that you regularly do is not a very good idea. In fact, that's a very quick way of losing your enjoyment of running. So if you follow advice on doing a nice good warm up and building into things, then focusing on holding that nice comfortable and sustainable pace, you should be on to a winner. If you still feel the urge to stop, just back the pace off slightly, allow yourself time to recover. If still you feel that urge to stop, then just drop it down to a walk. There's nothing wrong with doing brief periods of walking. I still do it on my occasional runs. And what it does do is it allows me then to just reset, refocus, recover, and crack on and get my run done without cutting it short. All right then, what about technique? Well, clearly having good form, posture and technique will go a long way towards staving off your fatigue mid-run and towards the end of your run. 
But technique is a pretty big topic and probably deserves a video in itself, which fortunately we do have. And I'll pop it up at the end of this one so you can head on over and check that out. But in essence, having a good technique will help you to run more efficiently. In other words, trying to use your energy more wisely rather than wasting it. Now, I'll share a couple of quick tips with you today, one of which is in terms of stride length. A lot of people over stride, so just try and focus on keeping that cadence and turnover of the legs nice and quick. Also, try to keep your head, your shoulders, and your arms nice and relaxed so the arms come through nice and freely. And then try to look around 20 to 30 meters ahead of you when you're running rather than looking up in the sky or straight down at the ground. And then as you really fatigue, a nice cue that's helped me over the years at least is try to think about pointing with your knees so you get a nice knee drive and then focus on flicking your heels up towards your hamstrings. All right, my final couple of tips for you, one of which is have fun, enjoy it. Running is one of the simplest forms of exercise. All you need is a pair of running shoes and off you go. Also, don't start out by doing a run every single day. I'd advise if you are new to running, doing one day on, one day off. And as you progress, maybe going to two days on, one day off. Also, find a running buddy. It's great for motivating you and getting you out the door, particularly on those days when you're just struggling to do that, even if it's just your dog. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a like. And if you'd like to see more from GTN, just follow us on social media or on the YouTube channel.